In Washington, the White House is still pressing Baghdad to form an inclusive government. While the U.S. weighs deeper military engagement in Iraq, its approach in Syria has hit a crucial milestone. Chemical weapons materials have been transferred to the U.S. ship Cape Ray, which is on its way to international waters where the destruction process will get underway. CCTV's Jessica Stone reports from the White House. Despite avoiding military intervention through diplomacy in Syria, the White House is finding that the so-called existential threat posed by Islamic militants in Iraq is challenging its desire to minimize intervention. Nearly half of Syria's declared chemical weapons boarded a U.S. ship for destruction Wednesday. In the next two months, 600 metric tons will be disabled by this crew at sea. Another 700 metric tons will be neutralized in land-based plants in the U.S. and Europe. The director of the lead agency in charge spoke to CCTV's The Heat Tuesday. The initial uh, declaration made by Syria uh, was very close to our estimates. It would be very difficult uh, for the secretariat of the OPCW to declare any uh, state party as free of chemical weapons. It's a testament to months of diplomacy between Russia, the U.S., and the region, ultimately avoiding airstrikes or sending in troops. But in Iraq, the White House continues to see this. <laughs> damage to major cities like Tikrit. The Iraqi military forces are making little progress against the Sunni militant group Islamic State. In the past two weeks alone, the U.S. has authorized as many as 770 troops to secure the U.S. Embassy in Baghdad, gather intelligence for airstrikes, and advise the Iraqi military. U.S. armed drones and military helicopters have followed. The reason that some of those aircraft are armed is primarily for force protection reasons now that we have introduced into the country um, some military advisors whose uh, objective will be to operate outside the confines uh, of the embassy. The American aircraft cannot be turned against Islamic militants without approval from U.S. President Barack Obama. Wednesday, he reached out to Saudi King Abdullah by phone, while Vice President Joe Biden reached out to former Iraqi Council Speaker Osama al nujefi the message, use your influence to get Iraq to form a unity government. The Iraqi government has accused the Saudi Arabian government of supporting the Islamic State, but Saudi Arabia has a lot to lose if its neighbor Iraq is destabilized. Jessica Stone, CCTV, at the White House.